Ice Dancers Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer have their own reality show. It's on the W Network six part series starting January 2nd at 9 o'clock. They stopped by Chorus Key in Toronto to introduce the series, answer a few questions, meet the media, and talk about this series and what it's been like in their lives lately. But having these people follow you around, and, yeah. and, and has it changed anything? Have you noticed anything different? It really hasn't changed anything. And um, you know, coming into this, we we might have been a tad apprehensive about how it would affect our training. Uh, of course, being an Olympic year, we didn't want any negative distractions. But it's been a really positive experience, and we absolutely love the crew. And I think that's been a really important process in all of this. Um, so we feel completely comfortable and. We wanted to be open and honest, and we wanted, you know, our genuine selves to show through in the series. And um, I think that we were able to do that effectively. Okay. And it's it remember we talked about. It, it sounds like there could be different people see different side of you and all that. Mm. Do, you, do you feel like that's happened in the first? I, I, I know you've had to work on your new programs mm -hmm. and stuff. There's, there has to be some, you know, angst and stuff that goes along with that, right? Yeah, I think this is kind of. Uh, the most accurate view of what our lives are like day to day um, than any other project we've done. I mean, people usually see us in competition, and um, but you know you are going to see the ups and the downs. You're going to see uh, the pressure. Um, you're going to see us some days melt down under the pressure, and um, other days feel like we're on top of the world. And um, you know, I think you don't really see that when you just see us at the Olympic Games. So this is a little bit more of the process, which is a part of uh, our careers and, and our lives that, that we love. And uh, hopefully, you know the Canadian public will agree. Okay. Do you, do you think there'll be more pressure on you this year or last year when you went into, you know, now that you're going through this Olympic year? Yeah. Then last year when you skated, had to skate at home at the end of the year. Well, it was good practice, definitely. It was good practice, and I think almost disappointing as it was coming second at the World Championships in London sets us up really nicely for this season. And um, you know, it's kind of nice to go in feeling a bit like the underdogs, uh, although we're trying to defend our Olympic title. I think. You know, there are two sides of it. One, it's more pressure because we're defending, and, and two, uh, we have the title, so we have nothing to prove, and we can really enjoy the experience. So, you know, depending on our mood, um, you know, we, we feel all range of emotions. Okay, how much does that, that drive you? Losing Coming home? second last year, yeah, if you needed, I find Olympic year, it's not really too hard to get motivation, but uh, being second last year, it's a, even that little extra boost. and. The sting of uh, not hearing our national anthem in our own country, um, it hurt and it's, it's still fresh in our minds so we're, we're looking to get back on top in Sochi. I think we'll make a couple little tweaks. The, the programs are always evolving and they're going to they're gonna be, uh, you know, they're going to have minor little changes up uh, right up probably till, the, till February. But uh, we're really happy with where the programs are at. We're happy with the feeling. Um, we've got great feedback on um, just that the, the programs are, are the right vehicles to take us where we want to go. So um, at this point in the year, we feel like we're, we're right on track, which is definitely ahead of where we were last year. And we knew that. We knew coming into this year we need to be on our game, and, and uh, we don't have time to fall behind. Okay, and the stories feel, well, last year there was a bit of, you guys had to work through a process. It seemed mm -hmm. like a couple of years in a row you've had to work through mm -hmm. the process. Does this feel more natural? Does it yeah. feel more natural? Yeah, I think these programs are really personally special to us, you know, we're um, invested in maybe a different way because especially in our free dance we're telling our story so mm -hmm. I think it's easy to connect um, and you know, the, I feel like they're Olympic worthy programs and, and not every program is, you know, you hear a piece of music and if you can imagine yourself um, standing center ice at the Olympics performing that I think that's really telling and we're very picky when it comes to that so I think we're really pleased with you know our, our programs as they are. Okay and did you shoot have you shot in London and Olderton yet? Like yeah you know, we yeah. had a couple what shots. Was <laughs> what was that? Did you like your brothers? I had well we did or? one with uh, my family I also did one with my buddies Oh, did you? Um, okay. Yeah, so like it, a night out. Interesting. Kind of it wasn't really a night out. It was more like an afternoon out uh, in okay. in the rural parts of uh, southwestern Ontario. So it was fun. I think there's, there's some fun shots there.
Did, do, are they as natural on camera as, as you are? I don't, natural, I don't know about that, which is funny though, like, the, part, the guys, uh, my buddies that I thought uh, would, you know, kind of step up and be jokesters, they were quiet, and some of the other ones who were maybe a little bit more quiet day to day stepped up and, and really enjoyed the limelight, it was funny. Did you razz the guys that were supposed to be? Yeah, there was some razz, and I think that's all they did all day. They razzed me, that's all I think they did, they were loving it. It still goes on. Okay, and you went to you went to London. Yeah, I mean that's kind of been the great part about the series is they've followed us home to, with our family and friends and in our training and competitions with media and in all areas of our lives and um, I think that's a really neat way because you see us uh, a neat way to get to know us because you see us outside of you know the rink. And I think a great thing too for us is a lot of that life outside of skating happens in London and that's our home. That's our true home and. Some of our training happens in London too, so you get to see, uh, you know, our training with Maria, Maria Mountain, and uh, you know, plus you know our home life. Like we're we're true Londoners, so yeah. You were ready for this, eh? Like this was in this year. This year, you're ready. You're mm -hmm. mature enough to do it. Mm -hmm. It really hasn't changed our training, and that was uh, kind of at the forefront of our minds uh, when we spoke with our coach and, and you know uh, Bruce Craven, you know, exercise scientist that we work with out of uh, Saskatoon and. Uh, you know, just talking to him about if, if we're ready for this, if it's going to be a distraction, it really hasn't been. And uh, we knew exactly what to expect. We planned it accordingly, and um, it's worked out well for us. If anything, it's, it's been a positive. Okay. In, in sc school, you, you wanted school. to do school, right? Yes, it, yeah. Even in this season? You know, it was important to me. A lot of other skaters, um, you know, most people we train with are not doing any school this year, and um, I think it would have been easy to put it on the back burner this, this season, but that's what I know that's normal for me, and I think that balance of going to class and having a focus outside of the rink is really healthy, and, um, you know, I've really enjoyed that. So, although I'm a little bit nervous for my midterm in a couple days, <laughs> uh, I really like everything else about school. <laughs> Tessa and Scott. Young, gorgeous, and skating their way to gold. There's a lot of reality TV out there, but this should be interesting watching two athletes in their prime going for an Olympic gold. For Sun News Network, I'm Ryan Payette.